Hey guys, happy card making day. Or actually it's nighttime card making night. Happy card making night. Okay, gently lay that down. Let me squish. Okay, so we're using some VersaFine Claire ink in Nocturne. And I love this ink. All right. Um, so this is a really pretty butterfly stamp from Unity Stamp Co. And, um, hmm, I think, I think that worked. We don't even really have to double stamp. Oh, yeah. Um, let me peel this back off a second. Um, I do want to show you the, the, um, stamp set real quick. Hang on. the whole stamp set I mean all right it's called allow yourself and uh, so let today be the start of something new allow yourself to let go and then the big pretty butterfly and honestly I've been playing around with all these butterflies um, I could not decide which butterfly to use so first I cut it out on I don't know if you can see it let me move this first I cut it out on that shape then I cut um, I put another one same shape but um, a different one, and it looks quite similar, but it is um, an AliExpress stamp set, or could be branded, I don't know, but you know, I got it on there. Um, your life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Um, I love that from Gandhi. Um, it's never too late to be who you might have been. Um, we cannot become what we want by remaining what we are. No one is you, and that's your superpower. So I like all the, like, the matching flowers that it comes with, so that's pretty cool. So I kind of wanted to do that one. But then I also um, got these cool dies, and where's that big one? Sometimes I worry if they're going to cut okay from AliExpress, and, um, oh my god, reaching around. Oh, that killed my shoulder. Um, so, but anyway, this, it cuts like butter. It cuts like butter telling you it's beautiful all right so so what we're doing is I cut a pretty purple card base and I embossed it with just kind of a leafy look so we're gonna go ahead and put this down I believe I already got it taped up that's it's a really pretty paper um, I've been just going through some of my random paper pads and picking out pretty papers and I think I'm just going to let kind of the paper tell me what kind of card it wants you know what I'm saying um so some people are like oh where do you get your inspiration or whatever uh, various places but um in some cases it's you just let the paper speak to you or maybe it's a stamp set or whatever so in this case um it's also for Brandy's birthday the left-handed crafter and I was just thinking about that and I was really um upset because I thought oh my gosh has it passed and it was in April but this has been you know like crazy time in the world so um I didn't know if I had actually missed it or not and then I so I went and consulted my little calendar that I've been making and uh, I haven't it's a little bit later in the month so I'm excited um I'm gonna be on time probably <laughs> but anyway <clears throat> so okay um so we're gonna do that and then we're going to use the sentiment. Um, I didn't want a traditional happy birthday exactly. I wanted to use what came in the set because I feel like this is kind of about, this would be like a birthday sentiment in a way. Um, so let today be the start of something new. So I feel like every year on your birthday, it's it's almost like New Year's to me, right? It's... Um, I don't know. It's just new and exciting and refreshing and I don't know. Um, just create something new, you know. So, here are my markers. So, I'm just going to go through and do all the little flower centers first because that will be easy. So, how y'all been doing? I've been doing pretty well. Yeah, can't really see that, so I'll just do this one. 
it might bleed a little bit. I've I found that it doesn't bleed too much with this, even though it's not like alcohol specific ink or whatever. Um, or not for that, you know, so it won't bleed. But as long as you um, kind of let it dry, which I, I haven't, so we'll see how that goes. But hopefully it won't do too much. Is that supposed to be a leaf? Okay. So we got that. So are you guys still on, on uh, quarantine, lockdown, all that good stuff? I'm, I, I see all these people like, protesting and things and like no 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 <laughs> like it is it's kind of an honor I guess um a privilege I think to be able to quarantine and and I know they need to go back to work we all do but um I just I don't know I mean I think that we're doing ourselves a favor we're doing our country a favor it's wonderful that you know for a while at least our country was sort of supporting that um, not so much anymore. He's like, go back. But, um, anyway, I think opening, reopening the world too soon is a huge mistake. But that's just me, so. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm very nervous about it. I'm scared, you know. Um, I feel like we're going to have another big, big boom of it. And I, I just, I think we could avoid... I don't think we could avoid it 100% whenever we go back, but I think, y'all see that, um, but I think we could avoid it to a point, and we could lessen it quite a bit if we waited for testing and proper uh, protection <laughs> would be nice going back to work, so I think I'm going to do this one blue, I'm trying to like skip around, but I think I got that one too close, but um I'm going to do the outside edge and something else, so I believe it'll be okay. But anyway, um, but y'all, look at this pretty paper. Like, I don't know if you can tell as much because I embossed it, but, um, it kind of, it reminds me of, like, clouds. That's what made me think of the butterfly and, like, swirly dudes and, I don't know. So, yeah. Okay, so this is BG13. It's called mint green but it does not look mint to me it looks pretty bright actually yeah see that's more like a i love the color but i had a car this color and i hated that car it was um passed down from my my mother who loved that color in the car um and it was a great car but it just ugh, hated that color but, you know, happy to have a car, so that's okay. Um, let's see. So, i got to get some pink in there. So, that one may be... Anyway, I've been doing um, a lot of cooking. As you can tell, I haven't <laughs> been card making that much. Um, but I've been doing a lot of cooking. And uh, I almost think I should get a lighter purple. Seventeen. I don't know. Then yeah, let's try this. Um, yeah, it's a little bit dark. Could have gone with a little bit lighter. Um, anyway, instead of crafting, I've been cooking, which is kind of like a craft. Um, I'll do this on purple too. I've made some um, bourbon chicken, minus the bourbon. <laughs> um, it's, if you, if you look on Pinterest, it is, uh, oh my God, maybe green there, those little things. I should have spaced that out a little bit more. Anyway, um, if you go, like, look on Pinterest, that's where I got it, um, and look up, um, several for, uh, like, food court bourbon chicken, and, uh, I always get it. Um, when I go to a couple of malls that are quite a ways away from me, um, I'm just, I'm going to make this pink here and I'm going to go ahead and trace around that and make that pink as well. Just so we can pull the pink over here, kind of over here. It's not exactly going to match the blue, but I think it'll be okay. And then I'm going to do, instead of 
this should probably be green, but I feel like it needs more pink. So I'm just adding some pink little swishes right there on the stems. And that's going to be pink too. And the body here is going to be pink. Brandy's a girl, so we're going to have a girl butterfly. Okay, so anyway. So now I want to do probably this. I'm going to go over it all in this color and then maybe add some of this color is what I'm thinking. But anyway, um, so I love the bourbon chicken, right? And it is just so good. And so I found the recipe and it was like... Um, in place of the bourbon, I guess you used um, the brown sugar and the uh, apple juice and stuff. So, I, anyway, I had all the ingredients, and so I was excited to do that, and I did, and it was fabulous. And it tasted absolutely nothing like bourbon chicken, just just so you know. But it was very, very good. So, um, I will definitely be fixing it again. It's just not like the mall or food court bourbon chicken, so don't let that fool you. Um, but it was extremely good. Um, I like hot stuff, so I added a few more extra of the red pepper flakes in there than what the recipe called for, too. So, um, you can do that if you want or leave that out. Um, okay. So, now I'm going to add a little bit of this. And then, that's, the, that, I think that's what, yeah, that's what we fixed for, um, Easter dinner that day with my dad and um all right I'm gonna add just a little bit of um I am honestly pretty happy to not have the traditional like ham whatever we usually have um on Easter I'm not always a traditional person anymore um so I was kind of happy that we were kind of doing something different. It was a very different filling year in general, you know, so, um, why not, you know, take advantage of that, right? And, okay, so now I'm just going to kind of go back over it in the blue, and I think it'll kind of, ooh, maybe not, uh, <laughs> my thought was it was going to blend that in more, but we'll see. I think it does enough. And then that, that bluish green, whatever it was called, gives it a hint of a different color. So it kind of picks up on those little colors over here a little bit. Okay. So anyway. Um, okay. So the next thing, of course, that I want to do is wink of Stella it. So the next thing, squeeze a little bit out there. <gasps> okay. Don't want to squeeze it on my paper. Uh, I need to dry that up. Well, I'll just do it down here. Ooh, too much, too much, too much. Spread, spread. Okay, so just dab it off a little bit. We don't want to do a ridiculous amount, but kind of. In person, it'll look good. I don't know about on camera. I never, I really can't, like, if I watch my videos back, I can't see the glitter. So I don't think that you guys can either. I don't know. But I always want to do this step. I can't help it. I just feel like, especially with something, you know, as magical and magnificent as a little butterfly, I want to uh, just add something there. So, this was a good bit. I squeezed out enough for 12 cards. you got to watch when you squeeze these. It will really, really take off. I mean, like, this will allow me to color for many, 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 many cards to come without ever squeezing anymore. Ever. But anyway. Um, so hopefully as it dries, though, I think it'll be fun. Uh, okay, so the next thing that I made was um, uh, also on the... Um, well, this was more like a Chinese buffet. I call it... Um, uh, like crab casserole. Uh, I think some people call it seafood delight, but it's not exactly that. So, yeah. But anyway, um, you can look up, like, 
you know, crab casserole or something on Chinese buffet on Pinterest, it'll, it'll give you something. And there's a, a bunch of different recipes for it as well. Um, I did not put, um, the, uh, celery. Well, like it's even on the Shoney's buffet actually. And Shoney's, they, um, they put potatoes in it, which drives me insane because I just, I love potatoes, but I don't like it in that. But um, on the actual Chinese buffet, it does not. So, um, okay. So I was thinking about putting that up, but since I already put the tape on it, I guess I won't be puffing it up. Um, that's okay. I kind of need to save puffy tape in general anyway because... But anyway, um, so if you haven't checked out Brandy, by the way, go to her channel, Left-Handed Crafter. She's doing, um, today I watched a video, I'm not sure if it was out today or it was out a couple days ago, but, um, she's doing like a, a collaboration with some other people on making jewelry and, uh, she was doing some yellow jewelry and she did the cutest little like Pac-Man inspired earrings. You guys remember Pac-Man from back in the day? Wah, 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 wah. Anyway, I played that game growing up, so. Um, okay, so I'll tell you what. I'm going to stamp this inside. I went ahead and cut out two, uh, two of these layers, too, before we glue some of the other stuff on. Um, yeah, I'm not going to. I think this is going to be the part I write on, so. Um, I'm still tempted to put happy birthday on there, but she'll, she'll get it, I believe, so. Um, I kind of get the feeling she's not... So much of a traditional girl either so she'll totally get where I'm coming from with the not exactly a birthday sentiment but understanding what I'm going for here so but anyway um she did a some jewelry with um yellow theme stuff so and yellow um, when I was beading and things a lot making jewelry um which I have been thinking about doing again lately but uh we're going to do one there, maybe one there, one there, there, down here, and over here, and right there, and right there. <laughs> okay, um, I have these pretty little, I think I got them free from like Unity or somewhere, I'm not sure, but, um, so I'm going to place these here and there. Hopefully they will stay. Plus it'll allow me to mail out the uh, flat cards I was telling you guys about. That uh, is my new goal in life. Um, come on. Come on. You can do it. Anyway, so back to my crab casserole. Um, you put imitation crab in it. Although you can do real crab. Uh, and that's good too. So, um, I don't know how, I don't know, when I twist it, then like too much comes up and it doesn't work ever the way I need it to. Um, I've, I've lost my other one, which I consider, I guess, a better one. But anyway, um, I just rattle on, don't I guys? I'm sorry. So anyway, my crab casserole. Um. It was like cream cheese, you know, uh, you know what that is, but, um, it was really, really good. And, um, once again, it didn't 100% taste like what it was supposed to from the, uh, um, from the actual buffet, but it was exceptionally good. <laughs> so, um, finding recipes that are quite good, but not exactly what I thought, you know what I'm saying? Which is how new recipes, I guess, are born. So that's okay. But, uh, all right. I'm going to do one more little tiny one here. And my other discovery, since we're talking about food, is that upside down? I do believe it is. Well, I already got glue on the good side now, so not another one. Um, and this is nothing. This was not a recipe, but um, 
you guys know ramen noodles, right? So I'm stocking up food and things like that because it's practically insane here. But anyway, um, so I like ramen noodles, right? I'll normally get the chicken type. Um, just like, I think it's like an orange pack and, you know, about that big or whatever. It has a little packet of seasoning or whatever. Well, I discovered that ramen has creamy chicken. And apparently, everybody I've talked to about this knows this other than me. And I think it's, I'll show you guys if you want to see. It's like a maybe a yellow package or something. Same thing. It's got a little packet of stuff in it, but it's just called creamy chicken instead of the chicken flavor. Oh my gosh, such a difference. And it's so, so good. Oh, so good, so good. Anyway... <laughs> I know it's crazy. So, okay, guys. So, here is that card. But I also thought we would do one more quick one. I like the way that turned out. It it really does look better um, in person, to be honest. I don't know. I just love this. So, um, I also did one in the basically the same thing. Not really the same thing, I guess, because I have a purple card and all that. But, um uh, hang on, let me move this so I, I know it's not going to get bumped and dry, all that stuff. This is just a funny one. Um, okay, so we're going to place her here and this here. This is just something really quick and simple, but I just think it's funny and sort of timely, we'll say. <laughs> Um, this is also a Unity stamp, uh, stamp company stamp set. So, I'll see if you guys think it's funny as well. Alright, so this one says, it's got the little fairy on it, like a little fairy godmother kind of thing. And it says, um... Do you ever get the feeling that your fairy godmother stepped out for a smoke? Like, she just left you to like, pfft, and all this crap. Um, that's kind of what I feel like these days, right here, right now. But I decided that we would do um, a cute little quick card with this because um, I had a little bit more of the background left, but not enough to uh, do... Um, like the largest layer, which is what I needed for Brandy's card. And, um, so I had just a little, oops, my ink was not quite dry. Um, so I went ahead and embossed the card using that same folder while I had it out and then cut a paper size. So you'll kind of show you like that paper is smaller than that paper, but I was able to cut that out. So yeah. And then I'm just going to glue a few more of these little, uh, bippity boppity boo things on here, and we'll just kind of do 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 one down here, one there, one there, maybe one there. That's a lot of them. When I just said a few, I don't even have, have to shake some more out of here. Let me just, I didn't want to make this video too long, and then here I go. Plus, I've got some happy mail to show you, so, goodness. All right, if these will come off, it could go faster. If things would just play along, but they won't. But with the help of a sticky glue finger... It'll be all right. Anyway, um, so we've got more tea cards coming up soon. It'll be Tuesday very soon, as you know. So look forward to that. And, okay, a couple more here. Boop. Little one right there. And I'm going to find a medium. They always turn over on me. Always. Okay, and then, um, yeah, I just think that's, that's cute. All right, so, now let me set that aside. We're going to go on to some happy mail. So, my first card is from um, Georgia, 
and I guess I won't show the inside. I always want to show the inside because there's like some cute sentiment, but anyway, it's a little spring card, little um, chicken with some eggs there, and really cute chicken bunny, is that what you call that? I don't know, really cute, and uh, I love how they open like that too. So, then um, I got a pretty Easter card from Shirley, and I wonder if that is the um, Heartfelt Creations die, because I've been looking at that, and uh, if that's the one, I'm going to have to ask her because I want that. Um, I want to, uh, of course mine, you know, would be like a book of spells or whatever for Halloween, but um, I want the book die that's a little bit larger than what I have. So, and these flowers are absolutely stunning. I love the little dove. Very pretty. And Heartfelt has the most beautiful frames. Let me see if that's... Yeah, I love that. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to like pick it apart, but I want to see how she made it too, right? So, and then she sent me this one, which I was totally busting the gut with. I was laughing out loud for sure. LOL, people. Um, stay home. Stay safe. Be calm. And look, I love it. She even put like the pee in the commode. How cute is that? The little curled up cat. The little towels. And this is like real little toilet paper. I'm so, I think that's hilarious. And can y'all see that? How she's like rolled it up there. Hilarious. So, um... Anyway, so inside she just said, sorry, I had to do it. Um, so, and I've kind of been wanting to do some of these too, but I didn't know if people would think it was funny. I think it's hilarious. Um, but uh, I've got some um, kind of like toilet paper type stamps and things that I want to do some things with. So I'm totally going to stamp her back a card with this. Um, and maybe some of you guys too, if you, <laughs> you think it's funny. <laughs> you have to laugh at this stuff, people. You have to laugh. Um... So, anyway, I just think that's a little hilarious. And, so, anyway. Alright, so that is my happy mail for today. And I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're all having a great day. And happy stamping. Bye.